What is going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Red Gamer and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a Game of Thrones modification. You know what it is, that this is, uh, I'm sure you do. If you don't, uh, I'm not quite sure why you're here. This is Game of Thrones, if you don't know what Game of Thrones is, I sincerely hope you do look it up. Because it is possibly one of the best shows in history right now. Um... Now, we're gonna start a new Let's Play, um, we had the standard Let's Play running, let's uh, get the music down just a little bit so I can hear myself, uh, where do we have the music? I guess this is as, far, uh, as low as we can go. A new Let's Play, uh, in the same time as we have a Stannis Let's Play, or at least a House Baratheon Let's Play, uh, it kind of went downwards, but um, perhaps we'll end it there, I mean we... We did as much as we could with Stannis, but, uh, in the end, we failed. But, um, on a side note, we're starting off a new Let's Play, uh, in where we play as Lord Aegon of Rainhouse. We basically is, is called the Young Griff. Um, he is the presumed son of Rhaegar Targaryen, so he's the presumed legitimate heir of the Iron Throne, if the Targaryens were still in power, of course, but, um, he uh, has landed in the Stormlands, let's see here, in the Stormlands with the entirety of the Golden Company. Indeed. So, while Stannis is up fighting at the Wall, or fighting at the Wall, he's taking residence at the Wall, trying to liberate the North and all that from, yeah, defending against Lord Paramount Stannis of Stormlands, yep. Uh, we're going to take his homeland, as evil as we are. Um, starting off, let's see if we should probably marry. Uh, let's see if we can get Pentos into this. That's probably one of my first, uh, ooh, this woman. Let's see, arrange marriage. Would she? Yes. Of course it would, uh, give me prestige effects, but, uh, I want Pentos into this war with 10,000 men. I really do need it. In the meantime, we're capturing his holdings. Of course he would. And now let's form an alliance and drag him into the war. In the meantime, we probably want to... Um, yes, we need... Stannis Baratheon is currently waging his campaign from the wall, where he has managed to convince Jon Snow, son of Eddard Stark, to swear fealty to him as Lord of Winterfell. Traitor and Oathbreaker. So he actually managed... Oh my, this is very unusual. This is very unusual. But uh, it would appear that Jon Snow did... Uh, uh, get le legitimized. He's a legitimate bastard. And he <laughs> he's already taken a, a wife. Val of the North. Interesting. So he's now a Stark. Stan has made him... Uh, Lord John Stark to North. Very interesting. So, with John's support, if the uh, the Lord rally behind him, Stannis could very easily free the North from the Boltons, which is really bad for me because I'm trying to take him down. My Lord, Majesty Lyra has sent you the customary amount of gold and silver for the bride's dowry, and now the ceremony can take place. 100 gold, that's great. It's just what I need. We're actually making money still. So, tell you what, I should probably get my counselors. Uh, you should oversee the province, get me some extra money. Improve diplomatic relations with Dorne, because I want them into the war. They like me, of course. Um, what more, what more? Uh, let's see here. Train the troops, surely. Collect taxes. Uh, can't scheme, but I can uh, perform charity. That's good. Uh, we want to have an ambition. Obtain a Valyrian sword, obtain a dragon egg, or have a son. Let's have a son, shall we? And now we can drag him into the war, no? Ah, I see. Quest of magic. Okay, I can't drag him into the war at the moment because. Ah, uh, this is a rebellion of some sort. It's not actually a war, 
I'm just attacking the Stormlands, not the entirety of Westeros. Um, so you left my place here, I suppose we can do it this way. Oh my, they are just leaving me. Why is this happening? Alright. It would be nice if uh, Dorne could come and help me here. Aegon of Essos, I see just causing... Oh, here it is. I just uh, see just causing you struggle against the throne. I will take up arms and stand beside you. Lovely. So that's exactly what you're gonna do. Now, we do need some ships to uh, be able to take his main holdings down here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go... Uh, let's see here. We need some mercenary ships because we don't have any of our uh, of our own. So, one, two, three, four to five ships. That's just what I need. Here we go. My lord, we have received words that the suspected traitor Sansa Stark has been found. She apparently has been uh, in the care of Lord Peter Baelish since she vanished after King Joffrey's murder. She has now been revealed by Lord Peter, and uh, who has uh, who no doubt has ambitions on the north. So he's married her with a re re uh, regular marriage. Interesting. He's gonna have some Stark babies. But it's gonna be uh, Baelish babies. Let's uh, split them up. Of course, we want Stannis leading the charge. Oh, Stannis, I mean Aegon. <laughs> uh, let's go to Dragonstone and let's capture it. In the meantime, we, want, we might want to take Storm's End. Not sure yet, but we might. There we go. Let's place them down. These are blue burn men. Interesting. We are sieging down his capital. Lovely. Of course, I don't want to lose money forever, so... Is that gonna work? I suppose it is. Are we the leader of the siege? Yeah, we are. That's good. That's great. Things are going just smoothly for us, so far. So we got the entirety of Dorne coming up from the south with like 10,000 men or something. 15,000? Lovely. We might want uh, the Reach to like us. Uh, let's see here. Not the Westerlands, they're never gonna like us enough. Okay, I can't move them at the moment, but... Uh, I mean, the Reach... Uh, they are okay with us. They uh they aren't supportive enough. Let's see here. In the meantime, Tommen. Let's see. Can we murder Tommen? Yes, we could. Let's see our plot power here. Kyburn would <laughs> support me with this. That's great. Uh, we should also auto stop our own plots against us. Uh, my lord, tragic news is only size up in a special way. Interesting. If Tommen were to die, Marsala would take the throne. And she's married a Dornishman. Oh, it's a betrayal. Hmm. Now, do we want to kill Tommen? He's not very liked. He, people don't like him, so they might not want to support him if we were to kill him. Uh, if he were to live. But then again, he is in alliance with the Tyrells. You know what? I say we kill him. Like, I, I would rather fight Dorne than the Tyrells, because the Tyrells has a shit ton of men. If I do remember correctly, it's like 20,000 or something. Oh my, 40,000 almost. 
come on. Siege the settlements down. I'm sorry, Stannis. But it's for the greater of Westeros. Because I am the one true ruler. As the son of Aegon. As the son of Aegon? As the son of Rhaegar. Now... When we win the war, we are automatically going to be dragged into the war for Westeros. So that's going to be important to know. Maya, could I... They only got 6,000 men, Tyroche. What about these guys? 8,000. Maybe, maybe Liz would have been a better... Then again, he's got no daughters. Oh well. So I think Pentus is the best one here. As he's got 15,000 men. We're about to take Storm's End, a castle that's never fallen. And Dragonstone, the ancestral seats of the House Targaryen. Ancestral seats, ancestral island. I can't, I can't play and speak at the same time today. It seems. Your training as a squire under the tutelage of Sir John Cunnington is nearing its end. You have learned how to take care and use weapons, armor, horses, as well about, uh, as well about chivalry. And now Sir John deems you worthy to be proclaimed a knight. Knighthood. Thank you, my lord. Sadly, he's got grayscale, so he's probably almost dead. But he is... Oh, well, he used to be really skilled with the blade. He's got 21 martial. Good news. My cousin Bredek Penelope let me know the King Tommen and from in a tragic fall of the castle rabbits. Fly, little bird. Fly. I am the rightful ruler of the Seven Kingdoms, and King's Landing is an integral part of that title. It should be mine. And I get the claims? Good. Will Tom and I now? Is the question. Um, should I take this person as my ward? Uh, it's his... Uh, Daughter. I suppose yes. Sure. Could always switch him out whenever I want. Failure. The Hyde Assassin did not get a chance to push King Tom of the Iron Throne off the walls and will likely not get another. At least the plot remains unknown. Hmm. <laughs> 142. Sabrina, Alina, Perrienne, the Spider. Interesting. So we. Took Dragonstone. And we'll take the, the other thieves on the island. Storm's End shall be mine. Dorn is coming up here. My cause Brazil Kyber has <laughs> Kyber and has bribed Hunter taking King Salmon trip into the wilds to quite a dispatch to, uh, dispatch this child and make it look like an accident. Sure, I prove it. Let's shoot him in the woods. How's it going for Stannis, by the way? Let's take a look here. The war. Defending against Stannis. A war score 66% uh, in favor of Lord Stannis. My, my. We need to finish this war before he finishes his. Um, he's got an army. Do, do, do. Interesting. So, uh, so I'm basically against uh, Don't Snow. Failure! That fool hunter lost his nerve and refused to kill King Tommen. What is more, he told the, uh, the lad everything about the conspiracy, including my in uh, involvement. Plot is revealed. Bloody hell. That's not good. But I will get more chances. <laughs> Let's try again with another hunter. You'd be a fool to believe that. You become a Kingslayer? Who did him? Who did Tommy kill of his own kin? Uh, I don't know. Um, again, another, 
another hunter told about my involvement. These hunters cannot be trusted. And I lost my spy master. I should probably watch my back now. And we took more places. Are we making money? No, we're actually losing money. And that's because of the ships. Should probably dispatch them. Because I'm not using them at the moment. And my wife is at least pregnant, so... We can pass the lineage on. It's only 75% now. Is that because someone left? Probably. We can bribe this woman. Well, that's... Ah, uh, that's it. We can't do anything more. We need to get him killed. 84%. We've completely taken Storm's End now. Uh, let's go down to Rainwood. How about Dragonstone? Yep, we're taking all in Dragonstone. Let's go to Driftmark. We can win this. I'm more concerned about uh, our war against the Iron Throne, to be honest. This might be a very short let's play, by the way. It's not. I wouldn't guess that it's gonna go for an uh, infinity. Oh my god, winter is coming. Um, I mean, if we fail now, it's gonna be maybe two, three episodes. But we'll see. I'll do any, everything in my power. I had to break up a fight between my sister-in-law and another child today. Let's make you. Let's try to make you lose envious. Envy is a sin. Um, let's split the troops, I guess. Oh. Ah, uh, you've, you've invited me to a grand banquet. Um, surely I can attend that party. Let's get some Stormland troops down here. Thank you for having us. He likes us. He likes us a lot. Friend. He's my friend. And I have an heir. Valerian of Essos. Awesome. Uh, new ambition, I suppose. Um, Tin of Valerian Sword. Um, have many children. Let's go for that. Still can't kill, uh, call him into the war, of course, but... Oh well. Got 500 men coming up from the north. I think. Or it might just be 53. Anyhow. It's only 63% now. We might have lost this opportunity. As people seem to like him more. I don't want him to get too much support. That would be uh, that would be bad for us. Come on, capture these holdings. Well, at least we're making money. Should gather up for a. Uh, Mercenaries. Got Varys, we're seeing here. We need some bodyguards. You'll do. Ah, uh, perhaps not you two. Capere, someone we trust. Uh, Varys, of course. Hi, Almona. Surely. Master of Hunt, it's gonna be you. Master of Horse, you. Designated Regent. Someone that likes us, it should be Varys. Rolling, Master of Arms. I would trust Varys. He's a uh, he's a mastermind. So if I can't rule, he should. At least in my place. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish the war. At least this episode. New Lord Commander on the wall. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. So they got a new Lord Commander, a Tuttle. 
Hmm. Oh. My god. So John is at the wall now. So... He's attacking the Iron Throne with 20,000 men. And where's Stannis? Stannis isn't doing so good, is he? He's got just about a half a thousand men. Perhaps more with supporters. Where is that moment? Greywater Watch. He's up in the north still. Hmm. But uh, with the north support, they might be able to do some good damage. And I should really try to finish the war against Stannis as quick as possible because if they are busy with the north, I can easily perhaps claim King's Landing and win this. A new Lord Commander. What happened to the last one? He died in battle against the White Walkers. Bloody hell, winter's coming, isn't it? <laughs> Victory? Great. But thank you guys for watching, this has been a pleasure. Uh, I like this uh, Let's Play, I like Aegon. Uh, he's an interesting character. And I would like to know more about him. But uh, that'll be all for this episode, I'll see you of course in the next one. Let's see how far we can go with this. Um, if there's anything you would like to see me play as, any character in this mod, please let me know. Write in the comments, uh, think what you think of this Let's Play. Uh, should I continue for a long time, if I can? Or should I just do a few episodes and see if I can do the challenge to conquer the Iron Throne and then end it there? Who knows? But, um, uh, until next time.